Hi, this is Tim. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire a relay to a sourcing output on a Micro 820 PLC. In this video, we're using one of our Micro 820 PLC trainers that has the Allen Bradley 2080 LC2020 QBB. And if we look the specifications of it up, then the 2080 LC2020 QBB has seven 24 DC SRC outputs. And that SRC stands for source. So if you recall from our syncing and sourcing video, all we have to do is plug in what type of output we have, and that's gonna tell us how to wire the rest of it. So our output is gonna be right here. It's gonna to go to one side of our relay, and then the other side of the relay goes to the minus. Now let's look at our getting started wiring diagram and make sure we understand that. So this is how you wire our Micro 820 for the getting started exercises. And there is no difference between a light and a relay. We have plus 24 DC going to the plus CM0, and we have minus 24 DC going to the minus CM0. And so each one of these is now sourcing voltage out or sending positive voltage out to the light and then the other side of the light you see we have all of them connected and they're going back to the minus dc so what i'm going to do is connect this to output four we already have plus cm1 going to the plus of our power supply and we have minus cm1 going to the minus of our power supply so output four will go to one side of our relay and then the other side of the relay, the same as these lights, will go to the minus. The next thing we've got to figure out is what all these pins are on this. And most relays, especially if they have a socket, they're going to have numbers on the terminals. And then you're going to have a pin out here. And I've blown this one up so that we can see it. And usually you'll have some type of curly thing here. And this is the coil. So this is what creates a magnetic field that actually moves these contacts. So we wanna put the plus, which is gonna be output four to terminal number 13, and the minus, which will be the minus for our power supply to 14. Also be really careful with this numbering. Notice that we have numbers that are in parentheses and we have numbers that are not. And the ones in parentheses are the NEMA numbers, and the ones that are not are the IEC numbers. But where you can get tripped up, as you notice, terminal number 14 is the IEC minus of our coal. It's also the normally open contact here if we're looking at NEMA. So make sure you're looking at the right terminal numbers. So in our case, we have 14 or A2 right here and 13 or A1 right here. So I'm gonna connect output four to terminal number 13 or A1. Now notice that is the right terminal on this particular relay. Now some of them, they are opposite and it can matter, especially on DC, because sometimes you'll have a diode and the polarity will matter. Now on this particular setup, it does not matter. I have a wire to output number four on the Micro 820, and I'm gonna connect it to terminal number 13, or A1, which is that right terminal. And then I have a wire from our minus DC power supply, and I'm gonna connect it to A2, or terminal number 14. And now I'm gonna plug my relay into the socket. And I have made a really basic program here off of the green button. So I have the green button wired to input four, and we're going to looking for a one. And here we have an output energized for output number four. So really you press the green button, the relay should come on. And I press the green button and our relay comes on. Also, if you're purchasing a relay, pay the few extra pennies and get us an indicator on it. It'll make our troubleshooting lives a lot easier. And that's gonna give us two nice isolated contacts. And on one of them, terminal number nine is gonna be our common, and we're gonna have a normally closed to terminal number one. And then when it energizes, it's gonna switch it to terminal number five. So this is our normally open contact. And on the other side, 12 is our common and normally close is gonna be at a four. We energize it, which is gonna move the switch down, and eight will be energized. So that makes eight our normally open contact. Learn more about industrial control wiring here. Till next time.